Hey folks, this is Billy D.K.Y., the truth seeker that simplifies and demystifies. This is going to be my thoughts on Joe Olston. I think that's how you say his name. Anyway, somebody wrote a, left me a message that says, Hi Billy, I've, I have watched dozens of your videos. I appreciate your outlook on life. Are you familiar with Joe Olston? He is an amazing pastor. He speaks on things you touch on, bringing the good of yourself, energy, positive thinking. He uses scripture, but his minister isn't ministry isn't ritualistic as say the Catholic faith. In case you haven't heard of him, his website is blah blah. You can see ten thousand members that go to his service. Can you do a video on your perception, thought view of him? Compare and contrast your views with his. I recently bought his book, Becoming a Better You. I am 40 pages in. Good read. Thanks. Okay. Okay, so I haven't. I've, I remember looking at Joe Austin, you know, several years ago, maybe two years ago, maybe it's four years ago. I don't even know. It's probably two or something like that. I remember watching some of his videos, and I remember he was a very positive Christian. Who really? What he wasn't so concerned with the message of Jesus Christ so much as he was about being positive and actually trying to help people, which I thought that was pretty interesting. And I remember when he was talking to some theologists, they were like really hounding him and making him look stupid as all get out. And he just did the dumb, dumb private look. Like he was just sort of like, uh, I don't know about that. I don't care about that. I'm just, you know, I'm here to help people and. So I thought that was pretty interesting. I thought he's sort of fighting the system in a very passive way. Like I say, basically what I see him as is a very positive person. He has a positive message. However, as far as con comparing contrast with me, I mean, to me it seems like it's night and day to me. But you know, maybe maybe from your perspective, not you know, maybe not being a you know, a long time truth seeker, maybe it does seem relatively speaking similar. So let me just look and see what I've done. Okay, here's what, here, let me just read through some of these notes I have. Joe is very positive, but he isn't the brightest guy, and I don't mean that disrespect. I'm just going to be honest. I don't know how I'm going to say a lot of what I'm getting ready to say without coming across as extremely arrogant, cocky, and, you know, so I'm just going to say it and no, no disrespect intended, but just saying what I believe it is. Life supports positivity, not negativity, which I'm probably being negative by criticizing him, but nonetheless, I'm going to go do it anyway. Uh, like I said, I already talked about the theology thing. Yeah, like I said, it seems, it seems like he's fighting it passively. Okay, so compare and contrast. Like I said, he's basically a positive Christian, Christian but however... Christianity at its very fun, the fun foundation is a flawed system. You know, to believe in another man die for your sins, basically, you know, you're allowing another man to enable you, which, you know, takes responsibility off of you doing the work. So I looked on his website, and here's what he says when he says, they, here's what they say when they say, we believe. So let's just look at it. The entire Bible is inspired by God without error and the authority on which we base our faith, conduct, and doctrine. Right there it tells you we're not even on the same playing field. You know what I'm saying? He's like he's like a classical physicist who's basically just looking at classical physics from a slightly different vantage point where I'm more like Einstein. I'm, I'm revolutionizing the whole system. I mean, basically FWG is everything that works Nothing that doesn't work, simplified to the absolute minimum, and a lot of people don't necessarily like the message I have because it doesn't have the fantasies in it. It doesn't have any BS. It's all hardcore truth seeking in your everyday life, and people don't really want that. They want to feel that emotional high that you're, you know, egotistical stroking of your God's chosen people. I mean, but you know, it's just basically growth. You know, it's all the other emotions that don't need to be there. And, yeah, that's the way it is, okay. So, I mean, it's sort of like this, you know. I'm revolutionizing the whole system from the ground up, so, anyway. Okay, next point, we believe, in, okay, we believe in one God who exists in three distinct persons, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We believe Jesus Christ is the Son of God who came into the earth as Savior of the world, which... It's, I, that's why is that even important that hasn't helped me make one, one bit of progress in my whole spiritual life none 
Okay, and basically the same old stuff we've all heard a thousand times from Christians, you know, blah, blah, blah. Jesus died on the cross, shed his blood for our sins. We believe that salvation is found in by placing our faith in what Jesus did for us on the cross. We believe Jesus rose from the dead and is coming again. Where else do you see that in life? You don't see it anywhere but in Christianity. You don't see it in Islam. You don't see it in Buddhism. You don't see it in Taoism. You damn sure don't see it in science. You don't hear me talking about it because it's irrelevant to making real progress and really growing in this life. Water baptism, in regular taking of communion, blah, 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 same old, same old. Then here's where it says something that's sort of interesting. <clears throat> <clears throat> Every believer should be growing... Wait a second. Every believer should be in a growing relationship with Jesus by obeying God's word, yielding to the Holy Spirit, and being conformed to the image of God and or Jesus. Again, take your image off a of man, because it's not about being a man, it's being who you are. Be yourself and continue to improve. That's what it's about. When he talks about growing, that's wonderful. But uh, you know, so next point. As children of God, we are overcomers. See, that's that positive thing again, which I like that. And more than conquerors, and God intends for us, for each of us, to experience the abundant life. Abundant. I agree with that. God's plan is about thriving, not uh, not being a martyr. Uh, he has in store for us. So, I mean, again, it's not about being a martyr. If you look in the woods, what is it doing? It's thriving. Everything's growing, you know, and that's what you should be focused on growth. You shouldn't be focused on Jesus. You don't even really have to be focused on God, really. You know, just focus on growing and focus on reality, which is God, really. So, you don't even need the concept of God to have an amazing life. And But the beauty of it is, if you follow those nine principles I've laid out for you and you continue to grow as a human being, you're going to come to question the deeper meaning of life. And you're going to have your own interpretation and feel for what God is. And, and it, it's more about doing the work and not worrying about all the philosophical and theological stuff. And I think it's probably where Joe is probably successful more than a lot of others to get caught up in the theology, which is just a bunch of mental masturbation for the most part, you know. It's So like I said, I mean, I've got the perfect system out there. It's just, now it's, just, it's about convincing people. And when you're a revolutionary thinker like I am, and you're bringing new thoughts that, that people aren't used to hearing, then they think you're crazy. And, you know, just like they thought Galileo was crazy when he said that the earth revolved around the sun. So, you know, I don't really see any comparison. Here's what, here's the comparison I use. And again, I know it sounds extremely arrogant, but it is the truth. You got Jesus. You got, you got a pastor like Joe, Joe Osteen. And then you got me who sees it the way it really is. No BS, scientific. I mean, got it down to the core. So, I mean... Joe's following a guy that I don't even consider on my level. You know what I mean? And I know that's extremely arrogant. No, I mean, obviously nobody can live up to, can, can compare with the, the Jesus of the Bible being God, in the, you know, with the false claim of being God in the flesh. But anybody can compete with the Jesus who, who's really in the Bible who didn't really say anything that powerful. I mean, he said forgiveness. Yeah, that's, that's a decent and all. But what else did he say that actually helped me make spiritual progress? I can't really think of anything that Jesus said that's helped me make spiritual progress over the last nine years. I mean, the only thing that I can think of out of the Bible that's really helped me over the last nine years is the, the saying, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Because I have a lot of anger. I have a lot of violence, violence in me. And when people piss me off, it's that has kept me from acting and, and, and thinking clearly. You know, getting, getting some space between doing something violent and, you know, so, I mean, I don't, I don't see the big hype about Jesus, seriously, he didn't, hadn't done nothing for me, you know, I mean, I mean, the story in the Bible has been trumped up, it's just, I don't know, folks, I mean, you, I, again, I'm not saying this to piss you off, because I know it sounds like you, by the, your, by your message, you sound like you love the book, and that's fine if it's helping you use it, you know, I'm not opposed to, but somewhere you got to move past book knowledge and start learning reality for yourself and become your own teacher. And so, I mean, basically I've laid it out for you as simple as possible. God's plan in that the, that blog, this first link in the information section the video. And like I said, I know the stuff I said sounds extremely arrogant, but it's, I mean, it's also the truth. What do you say if you really are the best? I mean, you, I mean, you just, I mean, I guess I quit talking about it and prove it, which that's what I'm trying to do by doing the videos and writing the book. But uh, anyway, hopefully that answers your question. Until the next video, bye folks.